Hello, Reading Public Schools community. We're going to use the video this week to update you on a shift in our testing protocols. Uh, and we know that throughout the pandemic, we've had to evolve, had to be flexible. Uh, and this new shift in testing aligns with recent guidance that has been provided by both DESE and DPH. So I'm going to take time to first walk us through what this shift is, then share a little bit about the rationale behind the shift, and then close with talking through uh, some of the logistics for you, what this shift will look like. So first, as you know, we currently have three forms of testing in the Reading Public Schools. Uh, first, symptomatic testing. Uh, second, our uh, pool testing. And then third, our test and stay program. With this shift, we are going to keep our symptomatic and our pool testing uh, protocols, and we are going to move away from test and stay. Uh, and instead of having test and stay, we're going to be providing uh, all of our staff and families with take home test kits that uh, staff and families can use at their discretion with uh, with students, either on a regular, consistent weekly basis or as uh, they feel symptoms coming on. Now, the reason behind this shift, again, aligning with DESE and DPH guidance is while test and stay has been instrumental in getting us to sort of this point and keeping our schools open, we also realize that schools have been a really safe place and there has not been a significant amount of in-school transmission. So Desi had recently shared that uh, as of G at the beginning of January, 98.6% of the test and stay tests have come back negative. So therefore, right, we have spent a lot of time and energy and resources in test and stay and also the associated contact tracing uh, and also realize that there has not been a significant amount of in-school spread. Now, making this shift uh, will enable us to provide our families and staff to test, uh, you know, have access to tests to use at their discretion. And we'll also provide all of our students and staff with access to test twice a week, one day a week with pool testing and also one day a week through the at home kits. Um, so uh, again, we're hopeful that this will uh, kind of lighten the operational load at the school and actually keep, continue to keep our school safe by providing our families and staff with access to these, these tests. Now, logistically, in order to receive these take-home tests, uh, families need to opt into the consent form that's provided in this uh, written document. Once that's provided, we're anticipating launching this new approach to right around February 7th, uh, when we expect to have the test kits in from DESE. So you'll be hearing more from your specific school leaders uh, as that date draws closer. Uh, and we know again, once we have the test in hand. So if you have additional questions on what this will look like in your school or the rationale behind this shift, uh, please reach out to me, reach out to Mary Juliana or reach out to your school principal. And we'd be happy to talk you through this. Also in the written updates this week, you'll see the actual guidance from DESE and DPH, which outlines more of the rationale behind their gu new guidance and their new recommendations. Uh, and also some of the ways that this program can help us to, again, move our practices to the next level and evolve uh, with the ever-changing pandemic. So thank you for your flexibility. Thank you for your understanding. And I think most importantly, we continue to appreciate all of your support, uh, both schools, staff, and also families for utilizing all the mitigation strategies that are disposable to keep our schools safe, to keep our schools open, uh, and to make sure that we are moving uh, learning forward for our students and staff in the Reading Public Schools. Thank you, everyone. Let us know if you have any questions. We hope that you have a great weekend. Go Rockets.